So I just want to do a quick review of Jordan Peele's new film, Nope, which finally became available uh, on streaming. You know, I really, really liked uh, Get Out, Jordan Peele's first film. I think everybody liked it. It was a major, major hit. Um, And I hated his second film, Us, but I thought it was obviously the work of a very talented, very intelligent artist, a very intelligent filmmaker. Your second film, you get this sort of sophomore jinx a little bit, uh, and I thought he got that. But I did worry a little bit that he was going to suffer from the uh, M. Night Shyamalan M. Night Shyamalan syndrome. Remember M. Night Shyamalan? M. Night Shyamalan made uh, The Sixth Sense, which had this big surprise ending, and then he just made surprise endings all the time because he thought that that was what made the film popular. But in fact, if you go back and watch The Sixth Sense, even if you know the surprise ending, it's actually a wonderful, wonderful story. And he wasn't doing that in his other films, and these films just stank uh, for quite a long time. And he's never really recovered the reputation he had. And I was sort of worried about this because after um, Get Out uh, first came out, I happened to be at the house that made it, uh, which I believe was Blumhouse, and I was pitching some idea, and we were uh, talking about uh, this big hit, Get Out, and they said to me, oh, we've invented a new genre, and I said, well, what's that? And they said, oh, it's the racial horror film, and I thought, you know, that's not what made that film so great. What made it great is that anybody of any race could identify with the fear that assimilating in America meant selling your soul in some way. That's what every group, blacks, Irish, Italian, Jews, is what every group fears about assimilation is that somehow the man will steal your soul. And that's what Get Out is about. And so it was universal. It wasn't really, uh, you know, limited to uh, black people. I felt with us, you know, Jordan Peele was trying to make a statement and he didn't pay attention to the story. So what about Nope? Uh, Nope is a story uh, with Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya, who is also the star of Get Out, who is a really good actor. He's an actor who reminds me a little bit of Robert Redford in his minimalism. Uh, He doesn't do a lot, uh, but he communicates a lot, doesn't need a lot of words. Uh, And he plays a horse wrangler for film uh, with his kind of irresponsible but charming uh, sister, uh, who's played by Kiki Palmer. And they start to see what they think is a UFO uh, coming and destroying uh, people and things in the area. And so it's kind of a horror movie. And uh, I'm not going to give anything away. Well, here's a little bit of the trailer, though. What if I told you that today you'll leave here different? Pops. Pops! I'm talking... To you. Bro, what'd you see? Something above the clouds. That's big. How big? Big. You think whatever killed Pops is out there? Right here, you are gonna witness an absolute spectacle. So what happens next? Are you ready? Mm Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Here we go. Run, okay! Run! No, 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 no. Now, many of you know me as the lord of the multiverse, so you would expect uh, me to get a lot more respect than I do. The reason I don't is because I just don't go around bragging about being a lord, but you should. That's what you should do. I should go around, and, and the way you do that is you get go to established titles. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of lord or lady and get the respect you deserve. All you need is a one square foot plot of land in Scotland. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. In your title pack, you'll be bestowed with at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, plus an official certificate with a crest. I have one. Uh, Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Titles packs from established titles are a fun and unique gift for any occasion, and there are even couple packs that come with adjoining plots of land for the special someone in your life. With your certificate, you could officially add the prefix of lord or lady to your credit cards, plane tickets, and even your dating profiles. And get this, established titles told me that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my exclusive link will receive a plot within a few walking minutes of mine. Established titles is actually running a massive sale right now, plus if you use the code CLAVEN, you get an additional 10% 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Clavin to get your gifts now and help support the channel. 
You can't be Lord of the Multiverse, but you can be Lord of a plot of ground in Scotland if you know how to spell Clavin. And by the way, it's K-L-A-V-A-N. So the, is the film good? First two acts are terrific. The first two acts are really, really entertaining. Peel is, is a really talented guy. He wrote the film too. And what works so well is the characters. They are identifiable. Uh, you, some of them you like, some of them you don't like, but you know who they are. And they, you know, when I say that, I mean you actually know who they are as if you actually knew them. And that is the best thing about the movie. And so when the danger starts and the strange things start happening, uh, you really care. Also, the plot for the first two acts, really well constructed. Great beats, some great surprises, some great turnarounds, and really uh, fits together, and you have to think it through. It's smart. It's worth watching. The movie is definitely worth watching. The third act, I will not say that it falls off the table, which I've seen happen to a movie where it's going along great and it just drops. Uh, no, but it doesn't work. The third act, it doesn't work. Some, as somebody said, uh, it doesn't stick the landing. The problem with it uh, is twofold. The logic of the plot starts to kind of unravel. Things don't get explained. You don't really understand what's happening uh, entirely. But the motivation of the characters, and their motivation is basically that they think something is happening, and so they want to get a film of it and make it and make themselves famous. That's okay for a starting motivation, but for us to really care and love these characters, uh, they have to have sort of come into a another level of motivation where we really think they're trying to do something good against a force that is evil and the it never does that. It's really interesting. I recently watched a thriller called Ambulance where the motivations of the characters were just so low that you didn't care about them. And it just struck me, well, it's, boy, if you live in Hollywood, you don't even know that the audience has to have something to like this character or care about these characters about. We don't care if they get famous. We care if they're doing something that's worthwhile. It doesn't really hold together. And that's a shame, but still, it's better than us. Uh, and it does show, again, Peel's real talent as a filmmaker. There's just no question about it. The guy's got what it takes. I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to make good films. What I think he should do is I think, uh, I think he was so successful with that first film that nobody wants to edit him. Nobody wants to say, hey, Jordan, this isn't working. Let's put this together better. Let's do a better job. Uh, he has to do that himself. He has to bring people around him who will tell him that things aren't working right. If he... Uh, succumbs to his own fame, to his own, to the fact that nobody's going to give him any advice, nobody's going to criticize him. Uh, he's not going to have the great career that he could have with the talent that he obviously does have. So two great acts of Nope, one not so great, uh, but fun throughout and, and worth watching and very entertaining for the first uh, two thirds of the film. And again, uh, I would bet money on Jordan Peele that he's going to do some really good work in the future. If you want more Clavin-y goodness, and I know you do, like and subscribe, and subscribe to the Andrew Claven Podcast. <laughs>